So I wanted to discuss the difference between snow, sleet, freezing rain, and, and just rain. Two of them are incredibly obvious. I know you know that. You know what snow is. You know what rain is. What about those two things in the middle? So, so let's talk about this. Let's define a couple of things first. Anything shaded in blue right here is air at freezing or below freezing. All right. Anything shaded in this red color that we have here is air above freezing. So temperatures at which anything frozen would melt. All right. So now what we have here, this is the ground. Here's our surface. This is the atmosphere as we go up. And this is where the base of a cloud would be where the precipitation would start frozen. Let's say snow. All right. So we have frozen precip falling through all air below freezing. It reaches the surface. Snow. Makes sense, right? Now let's get into this profile of the atmosphere, this window right here. You have a little wedge of a little bit of air that's above freezing. That snow will fall through that wedge. It will melt, become liquid. And as that liquid starts to fall back through air that's below freezing, it will form into little balls of ice, these little pellets that we call sleet. These are the little balls of ice that kind of ping around and bounce when they hit the ground. Uh, they don't necessarily stick to things and they can cause slick conditions, but it's not quite as dangerous as freezing rain. And that's the next one we're going to talk about right here. So in a freezing rain profile where you have uh, much more warm air aloft and a very, very shallow area of sub freezing air near the surface, here's what happens. You have frozen precipitation falling into this air that is above freezing. It melts. It becomes melted snowflakes. It becomes raindrops, what have you. It's liquid. It continues to fall toward the surface. It does not have enough time in this very shallow area to refreeze into a sleet pellet. So it hits the surface as rain. The surface is below freezing. So those super cooled water droplets will then start to glaze on everything. That's the dangerous stuff. It sticks to power lines, trees, roads. Uh, it can cause power outages. The power lines will sag. It's the thing that encases uh, those things we see outside in ice. You've probably seen those pictures where you know trees are sagging over, power lines are sagging down. Uh, that's the stuff we want to avoid. Now we have sleet, freezing rain, and snow in our forecast Wednesday night going through Thursday. That's why it's very important to stay tuned to the forecast in the days to come. Uh, and lastly, this one goes without saying, if the air is above freezing all the way through, it hits the ground as rain. I wish that was the case because that'd be a lot easier than what we're going to deal with uh, Wednesday into Thursday. Make sure you stay tuned, but I thought this explainer would be a little bit helpful for those that didn't know the difference.